I don't think enough people talk about this, and um, that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to talk about how I have this set up, why I have this set up like this, and yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Now, I think it's super important that YouTubers have a dedicated space to shoot, and whether that be in your bedroom or or um, a studio like this, it's it's really important to have a place that you have the same that people know and can expect, so it's familiar. I think that's definitely something that's really important for YouTubers to have. And a lot of people, when they're first starting out, don't know how to do that, and they don't know where to begin. And so that's kind of what I'm planning on helping you guys with today. Basically, first let me just talk about this space here. This is just a bedroom that we don't use um, in my house and I have turned it into my studio. Now the reason why I have the camera here is because it, uh, I don't know, I just kind of like this composition. I have this table over here with, you know, my uh, cameras and lights and then these built-in shelves can show, you know, my other old cameras. And then I have my gear room back here and I don't know, I think it just makes it interesting to see the, the, the lineup of lenses there and just it gives you something to look at more than just my face against a blank wall. That's something you really want to avoid. Um, two, two tips is be decently far away from your background because if you're, if I had a shot like this and the camera's just right here, you're just gonna see this and it's boring. So you wanna create a, a background that suits your personality and your style of content. Now I really like this composition because if I move over here, there's this boring door and I think it's just perfect for me to stand right here and have the, the camera the way it is because it gets the inside of my gear room, it gets my collection of old cameras, there's this boring spot in the middle where I can stand perfectly in the door. It's also crosses on the thirds because, you know, rule of thirds is a thing. And so, I don't know, that's, that's kind of why I chose to stand here and put the camera there and set it up exactly how I did. Now really quick, I want to talk about how I light this shot. Um, I'm definitely thinking I'm going to change it at some point. It's going, to ch it's going to change throughout your videos and you're going to figure out what you really like and what you don't like. But right now, I want to talk about how I have this set up. So first of all, I have my, I believe it's called Key Light. I just have two uh, Limos, the Limo Studio light kit. Look it up. It's, it's really, it's a great light kit. It's super cheap and really gets the job done. So. I have two of those lights right here, and then I got some clamp lights from Home Depot and just threw some LED bulbs in there and stuck those on top just to make it a little brighter, so I have a nice bright light coming from right here. And then over here, as kind of, I believe it's called a rim light, um, that's going towards my wall, kind of bouncing off of the wall and coming at me. I might turn that off because if you turn this off, it gives you kind of more of a dramatic feel. Um, I'm gonna go and watch this and decide, you know, if I like this look better. And it's it's very a stylistic thing uh, that you can make with lighting. So for now, I'm gonna leave that on. That uh, rim light or hair light, as some people like to call it, it's just supposed to give you just kind of fill in this side of your face and kind of separate you from the background. Now this light here, I have to light up the background. Let me turn that off really quick. I might consider leaving that one off too, but that is just to light the background, as you can see. It's not lit, and now the background is lit, so it gives you just, it just lights the background and uh, can, I don't know, just brightens up the entire image. So we got the, the key light, the rim light, and the light to light the background. Now for the fun part. I have these LEDs and these two lights over here to give you some color. What I like is that I have orange, blue, orange. And so what I like about this is blue and orange are kind of the colors for my channel. If you look at my thumbnails, the text is teal and orange. And the reason why I chose these two colors is because they're very cinematic because they're opposites on the color spectrum, the color wheel. So um, pick a color, pick two colors, and use them in your background. It lets people know that it's your video and that it's, that it's you. So I just have these there, and then in the background I have that blue light to just kind of make it so you can see what's in the closet and then I have a orange light right outside here. Now the point of that is just to kind of give an orange then blue and then orange across the background just to kind of give you 
something interesting to look at. If I were to turn them all off, sure, it's still a good, well-lit shot, but this just makes things much more interesting. Now for decorations, I have all of these old cameras, and I have this slate and more old cameras over there in these built-in shelves. And then back here I have uh, a few of my lenses, my GoPro, my drone. You can see the boxes to things. I think you can see the boxes up on the top shelf. And it just kind of gives more personality to the shot. Um, you guys know my channel is all about film and photography. And so a bunch of cameras lying around is really appropriate. So for your channel, figure out what's something that could be interesting for people to look at in the background. So it's not just, you know, my face is pretty boring. People get bored of my face. So I have these things for people to look at. It kind of adds also some depth to your and some depth and some personality to your shot. So to think about what types of things that you could put in your background and what fits with your channel and your niche, niche, I don't know. But uh, just think about those types of things. All right. So I got this little setup here. Got the boxes up there. I'm not even sure if that's gonna be in the shot. And then this light for some color. Turn this one off. So that gives you the look and the lighting of this entire shot. And a lot of that is also done in post with color correction and color grading. If I were to not color grade this shot, this is how it looks. It's less contrasty because I shoot on a flat picture profile and doesn't have as much depth. But then I color grade again and uh, there you go. And then also for my lighting, what I like to do is I'll close my blinds and then I put up this uh, white sheet so that I don't really want any light coming in through the window because that can fluctuate and change and I don't want anything to change in here. So um, I just have the blinds closed, I don't have any blackout curtains or anything. And then I have the white um, piece of fabric there so that if any light does come through it is diffused and is some soft light. Now this is the shot that you guys see and it looks really pretty but you, as you've seen in the time lapses and stuff, this room is a mess and it doesn't, it doesn't look pretty on the other side. I'm really curious as to know how many of you guys that have YouTube channels have a dedicated studio or do you guys shoot in your bedroom or do you shoot in your living room? I'd love to know where do you guys have your studios so leave me a comment down below or if you even have a studio or do you just shoot wherever you can? Leave a comment down below and um, I can't wait to hear from you guys. Now let's focus on audio. For audio I have the Rode video mic sitting right here, like right here, just shooting up at my face and uh, I would prefer to be able to have it above my head and pointing down, but I don't have a big enough mic stand or a C stand or anything like that to do that, so I have to stick with shooting up like this. And the one downside is, you know, if my air conditioning is on, then it's gonna catch that sound, so it does get hot in here when I'm recording because I turn off my air conditioner. Now I have this on a mic stand, and uh, I just took a Gorilla Pod and wrapped it around the mic stand and slapped my audio recorder, H1 Zoom audio recorder on there to capture the audio. Sure, I could set my mic right on there and uh, on my camera, on my Canon 80D and capture audio like that, but it's not nearly as good. Going and getting it this much closer to your face and getting it into an external audio recorder really increases the audio quality of your sound. Now, echo is another thing that people talk about and are concerned about. I'm the type of person that likes to spend the least amount of money possible and get the best results. So I haven't bought any foam things to put on my walls or anything, but what I do have is when I moved into this house, we got new carpet in and there was some extra carpet. And so I took that extra carpet and I have some like boxes over here, a thing over there, and I just kind of roll the extra carpet on top of that just to kind of First of all, I have these boxes and stuff to just put something in the room so that it's not an empty room. And then the carpet to kind of absorb as much sound as I can. So that's how I get this audio sound. And then um, I actually never really messed with audio in post, but I plan on doing that soon. Um, I might even do that for this video. So we'll see. And uh, that's pretty much how I got this studio like this. So there you go, guys. All you really need is a few lights and a camera and some audio stuff and just some things that you enjoy to put in your background. And that's how you can set up your own YouTube studio. It's not a super hard thing to do, and you can definitely do it with less than I have here. I've definitely done it with less. Now I'm really curious to see your guys' studios, so if you could take a picture of it, upload it to your Instagram, and uh, direct message me that picture, link in the description to my Instagram, go ahead and follow it, and uh, send me a picture of your studio. 
I'll uh, pick a few of them and show them in one of my upcoming videos. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please comment, rate, and subscribe. Be sure to click the bell notification icon so that you can get notified for every video that I upload. And uh, yeah, guys, I'll see you in the next video.